Hey, what's up guys? Sandus here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be hopping into a game called Void Train. It is the demo for the Steam Next Fest. And we're probably going to take a short break from Elden Ring while I play a few of the Steam Next Fest demos. But I just want to read the Steam page for this game for you guys real quick. It says, become a crew member of an interdimensional express train. Discover a new world full of mysterious creatures, enemies, and places. Upgrade and customize your train, gather new materials, and build better weapons. Play solo or online co-op with up to four people. So, I haven't seen too much about this game, but I've seen it was a survival, open world crafting kind of game. So, I wanted to give it a try. So, we're just going to hop in here and see what it's got for us. New game. Sometimes the spirit of adventure beckons so much, it's pointless to resist it. Some people find enough courage to get on a train and head off into... Outer space? Hmm. No. Also no. Wrong again. These are all wrong stories. Ah, there it is. The forest. This train was passing through impenetrable, dense forests. However, that was not a nameless journey, but a long way up here, right into the heart of the endless snowy nowhere. A perfect place for those who prefer tranquility, silence, and minus 45 degrees outside the window. Urgh. Meet the man who made off into this palace of silence, the engineer. He'll be here on watch duty for many long and cold months, until the next lucky guy strides in to replace him. If one comes through at all, of course. But there's no need to feel sorry for him. Although the terrain is wild, there's plenty to see and do around here. Especially if you're curious enough. Fortunately for my story, engineers are almost always inquisitive and attentive. These people notice things that elude the average person. And everything would have been fine in this adventure if the blizzard had not started at the wrong time. The chilly wind blew the engineer off the trail, which he immediately lost sight of. His fingers instantly turned into ice like everything else around him. The last hope of salvation, a map of the terrain, treacherously slipped out of his hands. Luckily, the video's timing didn't allow the engineer to suffer for long. All of a sudden, in the middle of snowy nowhere, it appeared. A door to... Where to, by the way? The building didn't seem to be on the engineer's maps. Anybody home? This is how it all usually starts. In that strange hut, there was nothing. No people. No warmth. Only darkness. I actually really like that narrator's voice. Maybe we can turn the lights on here. Incident. If I were you, I'd look for a key. Or something that looks like a key. Maybe just something heavy. Interesting. Well, I don't think that's going to help. I actually really like the art style too, like the graphic style of this. Find something hmm, to open the fuse box. Object. Gotta grab it. I feel like that would hurt. Hitting yourself in the hand with a hammer? Alright, now we should be able to open it. <laughs> Whatever works. I'm afraid like... there's nothing left to fix with a hammer. Any other ideas? 
thinking we're gonna have to change that fuse out. Door. <laughs> Man gives it a thumbs up. So, my glorious hero, having passed all the hardships of his watch, finally obtains a light in order to... Hmm. To notice something strange on the table? I actually did notice that before he said anything. Chapter 1, Entering the Void. Now, I don't know how much we'll actually be able to play in this demo, but I guess we'll see. Hey, you alright? Oh, you're finally awake. Hmm. A typical day on watch, huh? Yeah, totally. I would say, how are those things flying? But it does seem like there's a, a little bit of a weird gra well, this gravity might come here. In handy. What might come in handy? Wait, how do I get break? There is no gravity in the void. Jump off the train and head into the desired direction. Hold F to quickly pull up to the train on the rope, and then climb it yourself by controlling your character. The area around the train gives you a bonus to swimming speed in the void, so you can move close to it almost without lagging behind. Okay, so no gravity. I like this. The diary stores active quests. I like those things. Hell, I don't want to kill them. They're cute. All right, anyways, let's check our diary. Such an inventive mind wouldn't have any trouble figuring out the mechanism of a simple trolley. Sometimes a coincidence can open the door to new destiny, one where you'll have to start all over again. All right, so figure out the... Turn off the brake. Wait. Well, pretty much. Try pulling the other lever. Switch direction, okay. Well, let's go see if I can get anything else real quick. All right now, just slowly. Hold on, I gotta see what these things are. Chemicals. Organics. I already know they're gonna make me kill those things though, because... They always make you kill cute things in video games. Oh look, something up there. Oh wait, can I not? Okay, so the area above the trolley has gravity. Good to know. Always need a good horn. Alright. Onwards. Definitely some things you can grab. Also, look at that. Accelerate the trolley. Oh, here we go. That's a useful book you've picked up. Is the author some kind of scientist or Miss. inventor? I hope he's not too upset that he stole his training. That was awkward. New quests. Improvisation. So...
I need to collect scrap metal and wood. Two of each. That's ice. Do we see anything? I seen wood back there, but we kind of already went by it. Oh no, here's some wood. Okay, okay. Oh, so we are tethered to the train, so we can only stay, we can only go so far. Organics, do I see any wood? So I guess we can probably just let the train go. Oops. And then I can just hop off if I want to grab something, I guess. Like this. Because we are tethered, which makes sense. More ice up there. I don't know what I necessarily need to grab, so I'm just going to go with what it wants me to grab right now. Like this wood and the scrap metal. Do we see any other scrap metal? See more wood. There's some scrap metal. Yeah. Perfect. Press B and T. Press B, T to open the build book. Okay, so B. We need to build a research table. Wait, so. It says I can build a floor. Does that mean you can start building off the trolley? That's interesting. All right, well, first I need to build a research table. So let's do this. Perfect. Research smelter one. Requirement two scrap metal, okay. One and two. So it's almost kind of like raft almost. It's researching. Perfect. Now I need to build a smelter. So I need two more scrap metals. Kind of just like easing you into it, which I can appreciate. Do we see any other scrap metals around? There's one. There's another one, but I think we're too far from that one. Here we go. Go, go, go. Got it. Okay. Let's build our smelter now. I am curious of how big your your little trolley base can get. Okay, I have built. I've built my smelter and I need to smelt an iron bar, which I'm assuming would be Scrap metal, yes. Two scrap metals. I've discovered you can take damage by bouncing off of rocks. Okay, I was just trying to collect a few extra scrap metal pieces here since it seems like we need a lot of it. I just have to be careful because things do seem to want to damage me. So yeah, I guess if I have had to, had to say what this game reminded me of, it would probably be Raft. A little bit, anyways. Come on, let me up. Hold on. There we go. Uh, we're getting to something here. I'm gonna break for now because I don't know what that's gonna do. So let's... Let's smelt here. I'll just create one for now. 
do you have some fuel I can use? Okay, that's gonna take a minute. So I guess we will just keep going then. What else can I research, by the way? A container. I'm assuming that's what I have to get the iron bar for. Yes. Okay. I do like that they give you quests too. Oh, I gotta build it now. Two iron bars and wood. So I guess I'll have to keep going because I don't think we have enough resources around here. I guess I can see if I can find any. There's some more wood up there. I just realized how big that thing is. Look at that. I thought it was just that down there. Jeez, okay. So a little bit of things I can go here and grab. So I might actually be able to make one. Let's see how many I can make. I need two of these. That. I don't have anything other than wood I can use, so... Alright, let's go. I was gonna say, I don't even think I'm gonna have enough fuel for it, so let's just put it all in. Alright, what's this gonna... where's this gonna take us? I'm assuming it's like a portal or something. Is it going to take us to a new area? Because that'd be cool. Hello? Oh. I just realized we could actually change directions, but... I guess we'll just see what happens. Definitely taking us somewhere new, it looks like. Of new course, quest. I didn't expect to be greeted with balloons and fanfare, but where is everybody? Sneak in. Ooh. Sneak in. So... I thought this was just going to be... I didn't know there was going to be an area to explore. I'd tell you what to do about it, but I have no idea. Interesting. Okay. Sneak in, it says. Does that mean there's going to be evil things? You know, it did say FPS on this, so I'm assuming there are going to be evil things. Can I loot anything? Fire extinguisher. Hello? I guess I'm sneaking in. I shouldn't be saying hello. I did take a little bit of damage, so hopefully nothing here is going to hurt me too bad. Can I jump over there? Does I have no gravity here as well? Seems like it grapples you onto anything nearby. So I don't know if this is necessarily sneaking in, but... Is it really sneaking if there's no one around? Ow. Okay, gotta be careful of those vents. Well, the goddesses of time and fate can't weave a long life path for everyone. Well... At least he won't be needing the revolver anymore. Here's the thing, though. When they give you a weapon, that's how you know things are about to get real. Revolver, a weak secondary weapon with an infinite supply of power and ammo. Okay. Who do you think this skeleton was? So many diagrams on the table. He's probably some kind of designer. 
Well, hmm. He left the combination of the safe right out in the open. That was a great idea. But don't ever do the same thing, okay? I do really like the design of this revolver. I think it looks really cool. Like I said, I kind of like the whole art style of this whole game, really. I got an idea. We're gonna need those parts soon. Get out. So this revolver is called Old Friend. I like it. We love good weapon names. Like I said though, I am a little worried because now there's probably going to be enemies considering they gave me a weapon. Now about my brilliant idea and the details. The console on the platform looks suspiciously similar to the device in the blueprints. It was mentioned there in the train upgrade paragraph. Train upgrade. Wagon platforms. Build a module. Horn. No. I don't need that stuff. What did it want me to build? Expand the trolley. Add wagon. Upgrade wagon. Oh, upgrade wagon here. An engineer. Truly an engineer. There we go. Locomotive. What does this do? Oh, I can disassemble it if I want to. Alright, so now I have this. Oh, and that's where we build our floors. Okay. I like it. So they have train upgrading stations. So now I need to leave, I guess. I really do like the transitions, they're cool. But this might be a little more of a dangerous area maybe because I have a gun now. New path, number two. I wonder if these are procedurally generated or if it is a... Oh, what's that? We love us some new creatures though. Can't get mad about that. Does it look aggressive? Or intelligent. You can hardly call it oh, can hardly call it dangerous. So is it not going to try and kill me? Leeches won't do any damage, but they will slow the train down. Shoot these creatures in time. Because the wa the more of them that are stuck to the wagons, the greater the speed penalty. You can see that this weapon is very weak. Unless the leeches just have a lot of HP. But I would assume the revolver is just very weak. Now, we do have to remember, like I said earlier, we can take damage from bouncing off of these rocks and stuff, so we do gotta be a bit careful. What is that thing? Sorry, I don't know if you were evil, but you were coming. F you kind of looked like you were coming my way, so I had to kill you. It did give me a piece of wood, though. Now. Wow, these maps are really cool looking. Alright, now we need to try and build a crate, uh, or a container, rather. Let's build one right there. Now it wants me to research and build a workbench. I can do. Now, do I have wood for a platform? I do not. I don't know how much of the stuff we necessarily need right now. Leather. Oh, that's what I got from that thing. It was leather. Alright, let's go grab some more scrap metal and such. 
you see it too? Or am I hallucinating already? Oh, shoot, another... Oh. Another train. Are they gonna attack me? Make sure it's not a hallucination. Oh yeah, that's definitely not... supposed to be heading over there um can they see us hey they're gonna shoot at me huh draw attention well, whatever oh that's it for the demo rip i was having fun <laughs> I definitely recommend you guys try it out though. I I am I actually really want to play the full full, full version now. It's sad that that was the the only sad that it ended that quickly, but you know it is the demo. So you guys let me know if this is a game that you'd want to see when the full game comes out. It might be a stream game, but if people want to see it on YouTube, then that is something we can do. But like I said, that game seems like it could be very fun and I'm not quite sure when it comes out. Uh, I'll actually look on the store page real quick and see if it says, but I think it just says 2023. Yeah. So hopefully. Hopefully, uh, maybe they'll either come out with another another demo, or maybe it'll come out fairly soon. But I do definitely want to be able to play more of that. So if you if this is something that you guys if you want to see, like I said, let me know in the comments down below, and leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day, guys.